If you've ever wanted to have customizable chat tags in your game, like seen here, then you've come to the right video. I thought it would be neat to show you how to make some basic chat tags for your game that you could use for VIP players, admins, or even developers. It's actually really easy to do and only requires a single local script. So let's get started. All we need to do is add a new local script inside of our starter player scripts. And then let's go ahead and grab something called the text chat service. Inside of the text chat service, there's a property called on incoming message, and we have to assign it a callback function. And this function is going to receive a message, which is a text chat message. So let's go ahead and sign this a new function. And this function is going to be given a message, which is a text chat message. This text chat message, if we go ahead and index it, has some information inside of it. This is actually an instance, so it does have some of the other uh, properties and events that instances have, but we don't really care about that. The only main thing that we're going to be interested is going to be in the text source. So if we look in here somewhere, there should be like a text source. Maybe I'll just type it out, text source. It says a reference to the origin text source, which should contain some information about who sent this message. And that information can include a user ID so we can tell if this message came from a player. And if it came from a player, that's great. We want to apply some chat tags to it. So what we need to first verify is that if this message has a text source, so if uh, let's say this message does not have a text source because it says this is a question mark. It doesn't know if it's going to have a text source or not. If it doesn't, then we're simply just going to return because this is not a message that concerns us. Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to have this function return something called a text chat message property, which is an instance that you can create through instance.new. So I'm going to make a variable called properties. That's going to be equal to instance.new text chat message properties. If we take a look at the documentation, it says that text chat message properties, it says overrides text chat message properties when returned by callbacks defined on the on incoming message function, which is what we're doing. And it says this can be used to add rich text tags to a message. And it's very simple. We need to override something here called the prefix text. It's going to contain the main text, but it's also going to contain this prefix text, which is going to appear before the message. And this is what we want to go ahead and manipulate is this prefix text property. Now, in order to apply the right tag onto a player, we need to figure out some kind of way to define what tag a player should get. The easiest way to do this would be through attributes. So you could have a server script that checks to see if a player has a particular game pass or if they're a developer or if they have VIP, whatever. And then you could set an attribute on that player. For example, you could call it like has VIP and set that to true. That way here on the client, we can get that player. We can check to see if that attribute is true. And if it is, we'll give that particular player a chat tag. So let's go ahead and actually get that player. And that's going to be equal to, we're going to need the player service actually. So let's get the player service. And then inside of the player service, there's a function called get player by user ID. So remember, we need to grab the user ID from the text source. So message.textSource.userID. This is going to give us that player instance. And then we can go ahead and check to see if this player has a particular attribute. So for this example, let's just call this variable has VIP. And then we can do player get attribute. And let's just call this whatever. Let's just call it has VIP. This is going to be a Boolean attribute. And then if this player does have VIP, then we can go ahead and apply a chat tag to them. So what we need to do is we need to refer to those new text chat message properties that we created. And we need to set the prefix text to a new, well, prefix text that's going to be the tag for this particular player's message. So you could put something like VIP here. And then we also need to make sure that we include the previous prefix text that came from this particular message. And that's going to include something like the player's name. So actually, let's replace these quotation marks with this back tick so we can use string interpolation. And then let's go ahead and insert the previous prefix text, which is going to be inside of our message dot prefix text. So now we're going to have this new VIP tag added to this player's message. And then last but not least, we need to return these new properties. So now inside of the game, if I go to the server and I add an attribute on my player, we're going to call this attribute has VIP. And let's set that to true. And now if I go back to my client and I type hello in the chat 
what you're going to see is that I have my VIP little chat tag applied to my message, which is really cool. Now, another cool thing is that we are able to manipulate the color of this particular chat tag using rich text markup. If we take a look at the documentation, it says UI rich text utilizes simple markup tags to style sections of a string in bold, italics, underline, fill color, stroke variations, and more. You can apply styling tags to text labels, text button, and text box objects. So to change the color of our VIP tag, Let's go ahead and go to the color tag. And what we need to do is we need to insert this particular thing right here in our string. So this has to be either an RGB value or a hexadecimal color value. And then we need to include what particular section of our text that we want to stylize with this color. So let's go ahead and copy this tag. And back in our script, what we wanna go ahead and color is this particular section of our string here. So let's paste that tag in here. And now let's remove this and insert it between these two sections of this stylized tag. And we need to go ahead and provide a color here. So let me just go ahead and create a new color three real quick. So I can get that little pop-up menu. And let's say we want the color for our VIPs to be, uh, I don't know. Let's say we want it to be some kind of purple color. We'll do something like that. Now you can go ahead and copy the red, green, and blue values. Or another easy way to do it is just copy this value right here. We'll do okay. And then we just paste that right here between these two quotations next to where we set the font color. And let me get rid of that. And now if we go back and play test our game and I go ahead and send a message into the chat like, hello, now you're going to see that I have purple colored VIP chat tag next to my username. And then there is my message. So in less than 17 lines of code in a local script, we have successfully added VIP chat tags to our game and you can expand this to other types of chat tags. All you need to do is figure out some kind of way to determine what tag a player should have. Maybe you wanna set an attribute on them or do whatever you want for your particular game. And then all you need to do is have your local script check what kind of tag it needs to apply, apply it to the prefix text, return that, and then all the messages that will appear inside of the default Roblox text box will have your chat tags applied. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.